Well, blessed night, Sagittarius. I'm trying to change my language. Welcome to the nightly reading, which is usually the midnight messages or the what's hidden. And um, I do feel like this definitely hasn't happened yet. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. But, you know, however you resonate, that's up to you, to be honest. Um, I'm just the messenger. My name is Heidi. If this is your first time here, this is a Sagittarius channel. I do at least two readings a day. Um, and yeah, we do all the things. If you're looking for personals, please check out the link in my description. I very much appreciate everyone showing up and booking and just showing support to the channel. I'm really grateful. Please understand that these are collective readings. So they may or may not apply, but even if they don't exactly apply to you, you may find some inspiration in it because that is my mission. That's my mission, Sag. So let's get to like the things first, Sag. Okay. Now Yang is here. Okay. And now the three of pentacles keeps coming to you. And I feel like this is about learning how to receive letting people help you and very much a collaborative energy for you because what i'm seeing here is that there's nothing you need to do okay so three of pentacles can be, be and i do feel like on some level um it's other people bringing something to you okay other people working with you because you know yang is all about taking action right Take an action on an opportunity and you don't need to do that. There is absolutely no action you need to take. Um, this is just information. And that could be what whatever it is that, you know, particularly struggling to make something happen, right? And being at loose ends. That's the Four of Swords because like I always say with the Four of Swords, you know, we're trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> That's what I feel with the Four of Swords. We're trying to figure out what happened. And, of course, in this um, card, it really deals with grief. Um, but I do feel this has to do with uh, things working or not working out. And so, I feel like the answers for you are going to come from outside of you. Okay? And it's going to come to you. So, there's really not a need for you to do anything. Even though you probably want to. So, let's see what's going on, Sag. We have Deep Knowing Reversed, which I don't usually take these Oracle cards reversed, but I feel like something is being revealed to you that you didn't know. Okay? Um, and this can also be the need to really work on your intuition. Maybe you just haven't been listening to your intuition on something and this is about getting an answer getting a solution to something we're going to see more for sure and then we have um time for a nap and because you know there's a decision that needs to be made that could have to do with being at a crossroads knowing you need to make a decision but you know taking a step back to really think about it because sometimes we get too close to a thing and making the decision or figuring out what we should do becomes very difficult. You know, because we're, it's like we're too close to it, right? And then the third thing, because these are three things that are surprising you, Sag. And I did ask for the last part of January. So you could find that this starts to appear then, or it could appear sometime later. Um... This is meant to happen. Now, the fates. Now, what I always notice about this card, right? Is I feel like your guides or the universe, God, however you want to put it, have been trying to give you a message. Okay? But you're not hearing it. You're not hearing the message. So, they're delivering the message through someone. Okay, I said what I said. And fish is here. 
<coughs> so this has to do with money, okay? This has to do with career, with money, with your finances. And, you know, you are receiving communication. But I feel like the message has been trying to get to you. But you're not listening, obviously, because your intuition is kind of blocked off. Um, that can come from being too close to a situation and not really seeing it. Maybe even, you know, getting stressed out about it. And so they're delivering someone. It's like, it feels like whoever this message is coming from, when you get it, just know that it's part of a solution to a problem. It may have to do with your finances um, and the knowing that you need to make a decision. And so they are sending you this person that has important information that they've been trying to get to you. So tell me about deep knowing reverse and what is this answer? What is this answer or solution coming to Sagittarius? And here we go. Trying to balance out something karmic, most likely. It could be something that happened during Capricorn season, which is almost over. But um, definitely a problem that's been existing that you just didn't have a solution to. You're very attached to it. And, it, you know, the devil is kind of like having no way out, right? Um, that could have to do with finances. It could because the Empress is here. With justice on the bottom. Okay. So let's take a look at what the devil means. What's the devil doing? Why is the devil here? Because this is like. Um, you're trying to work something out. You're trying to come up with a solution. To balance something out. You've been very patient. Right. And feel like you're not getting anywhere. So tell me about the devil. Yeah. Yeah, two of pentacles with the ten of swords. That really is the feeling that there's some problem that you feel like you're getting nowhere with. And since we're seeing so many pentacles, this definitely could have to do with your money. Well, so many pentacles. The three of pentacles, the two of pentacles. And it's really like... Um, I really feel like this is, you don't know what to do with it. You don't know what to do about it. Six of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is about money. It could also be related to family. Working something out with family. Making things better um, when it comes to finances. So what is this crossroads and this choice? Sagittarius has to make. Knight of Swords. What is this decision Sagittarius has to make? It definitely has to do for some with children. Children are very prevalent in the reading. Um, and abundance. And enlightenment. So it's just not knowing what to do. Why the Knight of Swords? About something you're trying to achieve. Why, why is the Knight of Swords here? The Hierophant. I feel like this is something, a road you've been committed to. And it's also saying that I feel like you're trying to handle this yourself. I really do, but you can't. Um, the Hierophant also deals with institutions. So for some, maybe this is about a loan or something like that, you know, and needing to I just really feel like you're trying to figure this out. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. And I feel like also you're knowing you can't do this the way you might have usually done. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah. 
Eight of Pentacles. And the way that you've usually done it is maybe to get another job. Okay? Because we're seeing the Two of Pentacles. And the truth is, is that you really don't have time. Okay? So you may have been thinking about taking on another job. But it could be that because of children or because of family, that's not an option for you. And so you are seriously thinking about whether or not it is a good decision to take out a loan, you know, because higher institutions seek help from higher institutions. And with the sun being here, I actually think it might be a good idea, Sag. I think it might be. So what is this message about? What is this message that Sag is receiving? Justice. Okay. A, deci a decision being made in your favor. Or things going your way because of something you do. So I. it feels like this message actually is like a, a yes answer, which may be to this loan. So tell me about, because this is court. What is this message about? What is this message about for Saj, the magician? Ooh, things are working out. That's a nine of pentacles, Sagittarius. So there's definitely a decision being made in your favor, which is bringing resources. Tell me about the magician. The nine of wands. It's ending a challenging situation. It's making something work. I kind of feel like the magician is a person. Where is this message coming from? Three of Swords. Where is this message coming from? Where or who is this message coming from? Eight of Wands. I know it solves your problem and it solves it quickly. Where is this message coming from? And it may be online. Where is this message coming from? The tower. See? Especially if you've been asking the universe for a way out. Like, you've been asking the universe for the answer to solving this problem. They're answering you. And the answer is there's a decision. It's going in your favor. This feels very much like a loan. I have to say this, Sagittarius. Like when you seek out help from a higher institution, I feel like the answer is going to be yes. For those of you considering that. And, you know, the three of swords, it's like, you know what it is? It's once you stop thinking about the problem and start thinking about the solutions, that's when everything happens because you actually manifest this. <coughs> and you're, you're, <clears throat> the tower here is a good tower, Sag. Because I feel like it's, you're not expecting it to go as quickly. Because probably the problem seems like a long, something that's been going on for quite some time, right? Um, and then the solution, the answer, the remedy comes in super quickly. Like almost, there could be almost like the stress involved in where you say, was it really this easy? And the answer is yes, it's really that easy. Ask and you will receive. Ask and you will receive Sagittarius. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Moon. The Ace of Wands. The King of Pentacles. 
there may be a new relationship coming down the down the pike side. Uh, so let's see. I'm still not totally clear who this message is coming from. It may just be like an email or an online answer. So specifically, if you seek out help online, like that could be like a grant or a loan or something, and you apply for it online, you may be getting an instant answer. And I feel like you labor over whether or not to do this. <laughs> and, and yeah, well, the, so what's the final words on this? Final words on this. The lovers, okay. What's the final word? This is about choice in this. You know, in this reading, this is about a decision. The hermit. Final words. I feel like it's telling you to ask for the solution before you do anything. So don't like act rashly, right? Seven of Cups could mean you have choices. Queen. Yes, use your discernment. So here's the thing, like wherever it is you're going to, you're applying for whatever, do a little research into where you're applying for this help before you do it. But it's almost like, this is releasing you from this, Sagittarius. It is. Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords. I mean, you're seeing a light here. There is a light being shined for you. And, you know, that's, that's what, you know, taking the time to make the decision and not reacting emotionally to your issue... You know, the hermit shine, shines a light on your way forward. And when it comes to the options, the Queen of Swords tells you to be discerning. To get all the information, don't just go with the first thing that you see. Well, Sagittarius, this is a whole story. Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords... Five of Pentacles. Yeah, be very careful, I feel like, um, to make sure that you're looking for, you know, a resource that is honest um, and not because the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles and isn't, like, going to cost you money. So, in other words, if you're applying for financial assistance in some way, uh, via a grant or, or a loan or something, and they want you to actually put some money out, don't do it. That's telling you it's false. Ten of Pentacles, Sag. Queen of Wands. You are going to come up to with the solution to this. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles is also about information. And it may actually be someone close to you like family shows you the way and it's something you didn't know because the queen of wands sometimes deals with avenues of you know they kind of i'll learn as i go but you don't need to because look here they're bringing you the answer they're bringing you the answer it's and this may come after a time of really looking at different options of what you should do wow i love this sagittarius I love this. It feels like it's coming. And that message, Sagittarius, feels like it's for someone specific. It really does. I don't know who, but it definitely feels like it's for someone specific. So let me know in the comments if this is your story. I can think of one person that this might resonate to their story. And I'm not going to call them out by name. But I think they're going to know. If they watch the reading, they're going to know who they are. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have the most blessed night.